Hi everybody, it's Nate from The Kramer Life. And Katie. Also from The Kramer Life. And we cannot believe it, it's already May of 2023. Even more crazy, we can't believe that this is our fourth summer living in this RV. <laughs> Definitely would have never have guessed it was gonna take, yeah. That we'd still be here. That <laughs> we'd still be here. So we have tried several ways throughout the years to stay cool with all different types of methods. So we wanna thank today's sponsor, EcoFlow, for sending us the Wave 2. It's their portable AC and heat unit that we're excited to test out. I would say the first two years we did a lot of travel. We were in multiple states. Sometimes we would stop in a parking lot and stay for the night, yeah. which meant we were boondocking. With uh, no AC. With no AC. So it was just, hopefully we found an area that had some shade and mm -hmm. it wasn't awful. I think we would go about a week to two weeks in between sometimes staying for a week at an RV park because one, it's a lot cheaper to boondock, and two, you know, you can typically run on the water and keep your tanks empty enough. You can fill the <clears throat> fresh water tank and have water, and then your gray tanks and your black tanks can be emptied at the RV park before you leave. And then you shower a whole bunch, yeah. and then you could go on, you know, and cool off, so. The end of the second year, we were actually at Mr. Wayne's, yes. and we were boondocking on his land, which meant that we were running power from our generator. We, we were yes. using our portable generator, uh, propane power generator, and that wasn't enough to run the AC. And so I tried to take some of those emergency blankets that reflect 98% of the, the sun rays, and I put those on the top of the RV, hoping that that would reflect the sun. It really... It, it helped a little. Yeah, but not enough. Like, it was still pretty uncomfortable. It was still pretty hot. So this is kind of, we, we wanted to show this side just to kind of show some of the things that we've been working on and doing. And by we, I mean 100% Nate. Um, <laughs> I sit inside that window right there all day. Well, and you, you slave away. I had a computer. I had a computer in a hot <laughs> RV. Very warm RV. While your husband takes the dogs and goes and lays in the river. So, yeah, you know. Yeah, a little <laughs> jealous that. when I see that footage. <laughs> there is that. Um, with the RV, um, the major thing that you'll see is, of course, our um, our solar blankets, the silver blankets that are on the RV. This was an experiment, experiment for me to see if I can reduce the amount of heat that goes into the RV when the sun is shining on it. And it did help a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think if I were to cover it all the way, it would help quite a bit. Yeah. The third year was here on this property, mm -hmm. and we were lucky that we were able to have power from the house to power the rv and run the ac mm -hmm. but even then it were we were in full sun all day long and it was still just not staying cool mm -hmm. enough in there so what i ended up doing was taking uh reflectix installation this is stuff that you put up in your attic and i put it on the top of the rv i covered it from front to back side to side 100 percent covered in that reflectix and that really did help quite a bit. It did. It actually made it to where when we were running the AC, there were times that I could freeze Katie out. <laughs> Katie works in the back of the RV. Mm -hmm. where is, the, this is the back. Yeah, where the <coughs> kitchen is, the living room is, mm -hmm. the My dining office. room and her office. Yep. And I would typically be in the front of the RV up here in the bedroom on my computer editing or doing some work and so when I ran the AC to try to cool the bedroom, the majority of that, that cool air would go into my area where Katie was working. And so she would get really cold <laughs> and I wasn't cold enough. Because all of the vents are in, they're above the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So you've got a main- um, yeah, The main unit. <clears throat> yep, the main unit is just right above the kitchen island. And so you have options where you can open and close areas and then there's these little tiny fan ports where you can force air and you it's nice because you can yeah. rotate them right and so i can you know if you want it to be on a certain couch or if you want it to be on uh the desk in our case because we removed one of the couches to put my desk or if you want to put it towards the kitchen you can so yeah, you, you can, can rotate, rotate those them. yeah and then there's one in the bedroom and, and one there's in the one bath. in the bathroom and so what we would end up doing is closing the bedroom door, opening up the door between the bathroom and the bedroom, mm -hmm. and pointing the vent that's in the bathroom into the bedroom. Mm -hmm. So you basically have two vents hitting the bedroom. Mm -hmm. And that did work, but 
the problem still remained that if I turned the AC on to cool it in the bedroom, Katie would get frozen out in the... For, yeah, for the most part. The only time where that wasn't a situation and where I was begging for it yeah. was when the temperature started getting above like 85 mm -hmm. outside. So whenever we hit that, that point of, you know, we're going to be in the high 80s, 90s, potentially even 100s, it didn't matter. We could run the AC all day long and it was still 80 degrees inside. Yeah, even so, with the Reflectix. Even yeah. with the Reflectix. Mm -hmm. So it just wasn't enough to keep us cool. And so... So we got excited when EcoFlow reached out to us asking if we wanted to try their brand new Wave 2. It's a portable AC unit and heater unit that can run on its own battery pack. Mm -hmm. So this actually solves some some problems that we had. Number yes. one, if I want to just run the AC for myself and not freeze Katie out <laughs> during the day, I can have that portable AC unit in the bedroom, mm -hmm. cooling just the bedroom. Yes. The other problem it solves is if we draw too much power with appliances in the RV, it will trip the circuits. Yep. If she has the AC on and I try to run something heavy load like a microwave, microwave the toaster, yes. the coffee maker, any of those. It, it'll trip the breakers. Mm -hmm. So since this EcoFlow Wave 2 has a battery pack that it can run off of, mm -hmm. it can run completely independent yes. power than what's going on in the RV. Now we can have the AC in the living room running full blast during those really hot mm -hmm. times of the day. We can open up all the vents in the living room to mm -hmm. cool the living room mm -hmm. and then run the Wave 2 in the bedroom to cool the bedroom. Yes. Last summer we did try buying a portable yes. AC unit from a big box store, that, but it had to plug into power. Correct. And so it kept tripping the circuits. Mm -hmm. So We also didn't have enough room for it in the bedroom. It was huge. So we had to keep it in the living room. So this... EcoFlow Wave 2 really does solve quite a lot of problems for us, and I really think it's going to make this summer a lot more uh, enjoyable. What is Winston doing here? He's digging a spot for coolness. Let's see. Speaking of keeping cool. Yeah, <laughs> he's got it figured out. <laughs> when we spread these rocks, we can just have him help us. <laughs> so some other uh, challenges that this um, the Wave 2 will help us with is when I'm inside working in the house, right now the house does not have any AC. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be working on it in the summer. So I can actually take the EcoFlow Wave 2 and I can bring it into the house mm -hmm. and I can run it either on the pa in, with power, plug-in power, or I can run it from the battery. Also, when we create our Airbnb tents mm -hmm. or our cabins, we can use that mm -hmm. to cool yep. the cabins or the tent. Yeah, so we're or heat because it is heat. a dual right. unit. It is a dual unit. We're not going to use the heat yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, but we're really we yeah. are really excited about this product. Well, that's tiny. Really easy to port around too. It's not heavy. Cool. All right, comes with a little template that you can use for your uh, window. I'll probably have to find something, find a way to vent the exhaust out. Kinsley decided to join us. She decided to join us. She's a good girl, aren't you? You're just a good girl. You want to come lay down right here? Oh, jeez. You can lay down with you on your back. Okay, good girl. This is an EcoFlow Wave 2 add-on battery pack. This is super cool because this thing will run from the power of this battery pack without having to be plugged in, which is something you do not get on any normal portable air conditioner. And this thing is awesome. Look at this thing. That's beautiful. Just like that. That's super cool. And 
we'll take and plug this goes in there. That is cool. To run the fresh air inlet hose and the exhaust hose right here, I'm going to run those out this window, but I need to get some foam board because I'm going to replace this window with the foam board and run those hoses through that. So I'll run to the store, I'll let these battery packs charge, this battery pack charge, and then we'll get this whole thing set up and tested. Super, super excited about this. I would like to tell you about EcoFlow. EcoFlow is about capturing energy, storing energy, and now using energy in a smart and innovative way. EcoFlow's newest addition to their lineup of smart devices aims to simplify everyday living with innovative solutions such as the Blade, an automated lawnmower with lawn sweeper capabilities, and the Glacier, an all-in-one device that triples as a fridge, a freezer, and industry-first integrated ice maker. And finally, the Wave 2, the follow-up to the most powerful and compact AC and heater unit on the market. EcoFlow Wave 2 is the most powerful and compact portable AC that can be used anywhere, anytime. EcoFlow Wave 2 is the fastest cooling and heating portable AC. The Wave 2 can drop 18 degrees Fahrenheit in five minutes in cooling mode, which is 5,100 BTUs, and raise 18 degrees Fahrenheit in five minutes in heating mode at 6,100 BTUs. It has a long eight hour runtime with the additional add-on battery. Installation free fits anywhere, including RVs, trucks, outdoors, tents, etc. It can charge fast in five ways, at home or on the go. This is the EcoFlow Wave 2, the right temp right now. Hey babe. Hey. Feels great in here. Doesn't it? Yeah. It's awesome. It's yeah, nice. This thing is super, super cool. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so now I can actually stay cool and comfortable in here while I add it. That's awesome. great. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And look at this. It has an app that I can use. So I can adjust the temperature here. Set a timer, like go to different modes, put on heat mode, fan mode, turn it off, turn on. So I can mess with you and turn the heat no. on? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, you can. <laughs> yeah. So. Cool. I think it's cool. Yeah. I like the ambient noise too. Mm -hmm. It's not that loud at all. Mm -mm. No. Yeah. It'll work well for us because it'll be like the fan on when we sleep to mm -hmm. have the noise and it'll make it nice and cool in here. And yeah. yeah. So. Awesome. Yeah. So if you are interested in the Wave 2 or any other EcoFlow product, use our link down below to visit the website and check them out. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Bye.